A few quick tips when dealing with reference images and sub D would be first to use x-ray mode with our reference images and that really helps to be able to not have that Z fighting and move our vertices around when we're building our control mesh. We can see the difference here when we turn off x-ray mode we get a lot of Z fighting if we're drawing directly on top of our reference image. So by toggling that x-ray mode it makes things a lot easier and now we can start to build our control mesh. The other really important tip is to make sure that your reference image is an actual image. And you can see the difference here. This is a reference image which is a texture applied to a surface. So this is a group and we can see that up here in the entity info. So if we wanted to get in here and toggle on and off sub D, we'd have to make that a group. We can toggle this on and off and kind of see how things are lining up. But if we wanted to then get inside of this and continue to work, as soon as we get inside of the group there, we lose the texture itself on the reference image. And the way to overcome that, and I'll show you the difference here, is I'm going to turn off the grouped based reference image and turn on the reference image, which is an actual image, which um, was imported and I actually just was able to drag and drop this into SketchUp here. So I have all of my reference images over here and by just dragging and dropping them in, now my reference image remains as an image itself. And as soon as we explode this and would regroup this, now this becomes a group. So we can see the difference here. If I get inside of the group, the um, sub D control mesh here, as soon as I get inside, this has disappeared. The texture has disappeared, but the image has remained. So if I would undo that to the point that this is an image now and get inside of our control group, we can see that both images stay. And uh, we can toggle on x-ray mode on and off, and we can have them there even while we're inside of a group working. So just a general tip when working with reference images, um, not just with sub D, but any time that we're modeling um, with a reference image where we're trying to do a group-based scenario, group-based workflow, um, it's good to always work with our references as images. So I hope that was helpful.